Oh, gosh. Oh, man, he ate it like five feet from the trolling motor. I was not expecting that. Oh, he's peeing. You know what that means? This is a buck on the bed. So there's a big female. Oh, there's the bed right there. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see that. It's a huge bed right there. And uh, oh, I'm just looking for the female now. Yeah, that's a good sign. When you catch a fish and the fish is, and the fish is peeing like that. Oh, he's not peeing anymore. But when they're peeing like that, you know, that's a sign that that is the male from a bed. And uh, you want to repeat and make the same exact cast because that might produce a big female for you. Nice. All right, let's see if we can catch that female. See where she's at. You know, sometimes they get a little spooky when you catch the male, you know, because, you know, that's the reason why they're on the bed. You know, they're there because, you know, they're spawning. And uh, so sometimes when you pull that male off, she's like, whoa, where'd he go? And you'll see her and she's just constantly circling the area. You know, she's looking for him. That's what, that's what she's doing. You know, and, and like I said, you know, fish are, uh, every fish has different characteristics. They're just like people. Some are really aggressive and some aren't. And, uh, you know, when you're lucky and you find a female that's the big old mean one, really aggressive one, you know, those are the easy ones to catch where, you know, you just pitch and it's like one pitch and, and they're already swimming off with it. And uh, those are ones we all live for, but they're rare. You don't see them too often. Every lake is its own world and fish on different lakes, they have different characteristics. You know, uh, like for example, Lake Hartwell, I just fished there. Those fish are, are chasing fish. That's their characteristic is to chase bait and that's all they do. And um, you know, I, like I went shallow and I was throwing swim jig and I was throwing the Berkeley wind up and I was having big fish chase me all the way to the troll motor and they wouldn't commit, they wouldn't eat it. And you know, I, I, I just learned that like, that's what they do there. They chase and, and that's how that lake is. You know, and there's other lakes where, where they actually eat and they don't chase so much. <laughs> but though, that's a herring lake for you. You know, so um, here down in Florida, you know, we don't really ha we don't have those lakes. We just have wild chiners and some shad and they eat crawdads and stuff like that. So, you know, here you can do whatever you want and, uh, and actually catch them. So every lake is like its own little world. And um, as far as tournament fishing goes, you know, it's important to learn each lake and the characteristics of that lake and to adjust, you know. To me, who, the guys who are really good at fishing is whoever can adapt better than the everyone else you know whoever is the most adaptable is the guy who's usually uh you know that's usually the guy who's winning or the guys who remain consistent going into a tournament mindset remaining positive having an open mind like i've noticed like when i get something in my mind like i'm gonna go flip mats and i'm gonna catch 25 pounds today and this is what i'm gonna do those are the days that hey if things go my way i do great and i'll win the tournament but if things don't I get stuck in that mindset of, uh, you know, this is what I need to do to win. And, um, and so, you know, I guess what I'm trying to get at is like, that's where I've learned about adaptability. Just, you know, not being afraid to completely give up everything I've been doing. Even if practice was so great, even if day one of the tournament was great and that's what I was doing, day two is a different day. I might, I might have to go drop shot, you know, or I might have to, I might have to go crankbait and, and flipping mats is not the thing to do. And uh, the faster I can get at, oh, you got one. <laughs> oh, bouncing off the trolling motor. <laughs> Gosh, they're eating this wind up. Typical black and blue, Florida. Now this one's not peeing, so he probably wasn't on the bed. <laughs> 